I've mixed Coke with wheat flour and made a delicious recipe. Hit the like button and leave your thoughts on this recipe in the comment section. Into a large bowl, start by sifting four cups of wheat flour. I'm using a 200 milliliter cup. Then add one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. Now, using a spoon, mix it all together very well. Once you've done that, add seven grams of dry yeast powder and mix again so that the dry yeast is absorbed into the flour. When that happens, add 250 milliliters of Coke, three tablespoons of vegetable oil, and mix it all together with the spoon again. When you can no longer mix with the spoon, use your hands just like I'm doing. Once the ingredients have fully combined, transfer the dough to a table, sprinkle some flour on it, and knead for 10 minutes. This is the right consistency, a smooth and uniform dough. Transfer this dough back to the bowl and let it rise for one hour. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. After this indicated rest time, the dough has already doubled in size. Now, using a dough cutter, split this dough into six equal sized pieces. Using a roll pin, stretch out these pieces until they are 10 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters long. Next, roll them up into log shapes, closing well with your fingertips. Finally, roll them up on the table to shape them. Repeat this process with the six dough pieces. Once you've done that, arrange the six bread logs side by side. Then put the ends together in pairs. Then put all the ends together just like I've done. Finally, braid them just like I'm doing. If you've made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. Now transfer this braided bread to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Cover with a dishcloth and let it rise for 30 minutes. After this indicated time, the bread has already risen. Finally, brush a whole beaten egg all over the bread. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. Baking time may vary depending on the power of your oven. That recipe is ready. You may now make some coffee and enjoy it. I really hope you like this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comment section and we'll continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.